don't have to say anything now, but uh, um, it's been very interesting listening to uh, so many people's descriptions of what they've been doing and what they've been trying to achieve. Several things have sort of jumped out at me and it sort of reinforced my, my views of what we need to do next. One is that communities are different, but they share some things in common. I think one of the things that, that is obvious is the amount of enthusiasm and competency and capability there is in a community. If you can find the people who are, and I think every community has them, and we probably all know who they are in our communities, have the champions, the people who you can go to and you can make things happen. Mm. If you can engage those sorts of people uh, and get them enthused about the idea of broadband, and broadband is something whose time has come, most communities are very keen to get it, that the community can actually do an awful lot for itself. We've talked about the very high cost of it, providing broadband in the rural areas, and there are two components to that. Um, the one that's interesting is the one that the, the community can do something about, because yes, if you're in a rural area, you've got houses that are well spaced, um, you've got a lot of distance to dig if you're going to do fibre, you need to deploy more wireless if you're going to do uh, wireless delivery. But against that, there is a can-do attitude in the rural communities. There are people, there are farmers who will, uh, we, we saw with Chris's uh, video there, you know, they're quite happy to mole in uh, a fibre across their fields. Uh, they will do things like give you way leaves, which they probably won't do so readily for somebody like BT who wants to cross their land. But if you've got a community interest company, you've got a group within the community who are keen to make things happen. Because it is for the community, because it is local, it is astonishing how people will pull together. They will give you permission to do things, they will collaborate, and when they find an awkward cuss in a corner somewhere who won't let you cross their field, they'll, they'll go and kneecap him until he does. So, you know, the spirit of the community is enormously strong, and I think <laughs> if, if we empower them to do things, um, so uh, I think they can do it. That's one side of it. The other side of it is things like the County Council Initiative. The problems communities have is, yes, they can do an awful lot in their community, but when you reach the boundary of the parish or the boundary of the community, <laughs> how do they get from there to the internet? And that's a big challenge for all of them. Despite what uh, Bill Murphy said, the, the backhaul issue is a major one. If you talk to any group that's working in the rural areas, they'll tell you that getting a 100 megabit or a gigabit pipe out of that community to the internet is just an almost an insoluble problem. We have a solution, Cumbria County Council. It has the network there that, 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 that can be exploited. It might need a little bit of beefing up here and there. We might need to find some other sources of money to augment the money the council's put in. But fundamentally, it can act as a carrier for those communities. So if we put the two together, we put together what the county council has, what the public sector has, all the assets that are already out there, and we link that in with the enthusiasm of the, the rural communities, we, we can uh, achieve wonderful things. So what I think Rory and I would very much like to do is explore some solutions down the Eden Valley. We've identified probably somewhere between 20 plus communities along the, uh, the, the, the um, Eden Valley where we can identify champions. And the funny thing is, even if there isn't a champion, if you put a couple of feelers out into the parish clerk and things like that, they pop up like mushrooms. You know, go out one day, there's nothing there. The next morning, there they all are. They've been enthused, they've heard about something and they're there. So what we'd like to do is explore the concept of what we've been calling the village pump. And what a village pump is, it's a node within a community that we resolve the backhaul issue. So we find a way of getting capacity into that community, into a green cabinet, to active equipment. We then say to the community, okay, there are a number of things you can do here. You, if you want to go fibre, fine, great. Dig fibre back to that cabinet and you can use the backhaul to the internet. If at the moment you're not particularly interested in gigabit speeds or super high speed things, use Wi-Fi. That's fine. Um, you can use Wi-Fi, a mixture of Wi-Fi and, and fibre. There are any number of ways. We're not dictating to the community how it does it. Uh, different communities will be at different stages and they need to be given the choice. It's about empowerment, not, not dictating to them what they do. The bit that we need to help them with is the backhaul issue, in my opinion, uh, how we actually get good connectivity out into the rural areas and take that geography element out of it. And once that's done, things can be done. So the challenge for us is how to find the money to do two things. One is put hubs into the rural communities, uh, and Eden Valley is an example. 
and how we can work with existing public sector and commercial networks come to that, not just public sector, to get affordable high-speed links into those communities so that we can get true next generation access. Um, and it's all the exciting things, you know, the telemedicines, the third age support, all the things that we think are going to be the real killer apps moving forward. Things will make a difference to people's lives out there, not, not just reading your email, but being able to have a high quality video conference with your, your, your grandchildren in New Zealand and all sorts of interesting things like that. I mean, that's really what's going to drive internet take up. So, there we are, that's the vision. Thank you very much, Matt.